Hello and welcome to Painotopia.com. My name is Jan Lingen and in this video I would like to give you two examples on how trigger points in the pectoralis major muscle get activated. Once I have done that, I would also like to give you a few tips on what to do about it once the trigger points are active and how to prevent them from coming back again and again. So, the two examples. Example number one is a very common posture of our modern daily life. And that is arms elevated in front of our body. That posture becomes very problematic because it involves an activation and permanent activation of the pectoralis major and thus a contraction of the muscle and thus a shortening of the muscle. And because we spend so many hours in our modern daily life in this position, and remember, um, you have this position when you're riding your car, when you're sitting um, at the desk working, when you eat something, when you do anything with um, in front of your body, you have your arms in this position. And over time, this leads to um, an elevation in, of muscle tension in the pectoralis major, which is prone to activate trigger points if it gets too high. And it leads to a shortening of the muscle, which also might lead to the activation of trigger points due to physiological um, and changes here, right? So not um, physiological mechanisms are changing, but um, you have a, um, a contraction and a shortening, and thus this is some mechanical change there in the muscle, which leads um, um, at least to a certain degree um, of a diminishment in blood flow, which means there's a, a reduced um, oxygen supply, and that can then in turn lead to the activation of trigger points. This is why this posture becomes so problematic. Okay, um, so this is something um, more, uh, more or less active and passive at the same time. Because active, because you contract the muscle in order to uh, move your arms here. And the second thing is it might be that you have your arms resting on a desk while you work and then it becomes um, a passive, I call it abuse of the muscle because it um, will um, stay um, for long, long periods of time in a shortened position. Okay, um, now that we have covered this, I would like to go into an um, 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 example where you can actively um, activate trigger points in the pectoralis major and this is by um, contracting the chest heavily, using this muscle heavily in its function. And in daily life this rarely occurs, but quite often in sports. Um, if you're into fitness and you do heavy chest training, of course you want to either strengthen your um, chest muscle, your pectoralis major muscle, the big one, or you want it to grow. And so you have to um, put a massive um, mechanical load on it. Right, in order to get that adaption, uh, that adaption that you want, and um, this is one thing. But also in other sports, in, in swimming, for example, you use this muscle a lot, or in bouldering, where you have lots of compression moves, or in um, gymnastics, where you also have lots of um, compression moves. So any sport that requires you either to push a lot or to compress a lot. Um, is quite prone to overload permanently the pectoralis major and if you do not balance that, those movements, if you do not give your muscles enough recovery time, if you um, increase the training um, intensity too fast or the training volume um, and so forth, then it's uh, very possible that your pectoralis major might develop active trigger points. Okay, having said that, having covered those two examples, what to do about it? Two simple things. First of all, massage the muscle. Massage the pectoralis major and try to deactivate trigger points and also massage it in order to, um, that the muscle is able to stretch again properly um, so that you can move your shoulder through its full range of motion. Very important. If you are new to the concept of trigger point self-treatment and you have no clue actually what the trigger points are, how they develop in general, how to find them, how to massage them, then please sign up for the free trigger point course below this video. Just do so by clicking on the link or the button below this video and then the course will be delivered to you. Um, having said that, I would like to give you another example. 
not uh, sorry another um, tip what you can do and this is open the front of your body by um, going into positions that stretch the pectoralis major muscle and basically those are all stretches all positions where you open your chest where you um, uh, you, you probably cannot see that too good but um, where you bring the arm backwards where you open yourself everything like this shoulder openers are exercises where the pectoralis major gets stretched and in order to stretch all the fibers of the pectoralis major try to incorporate um, a variety of stretching exercises so exercises um, um, yeah <laughs> basically stretch the pectoralis major you know like from exercises like this or going to a wall like this and stretching it up here so in all kind of uh, various um, shoulder positions and um, this way you make sure to really um, stretch every fiber and the pectoralis major muscle okay that's it with my video on trigger point activation um, in the pectoralis major muscle i hope you enjoyed the video i hoped um, i could transport the message in a quite understandable way if you liked it, please leave thumbs up for this video, subscribe to my channel and if you really would like to support my work then sign up for that free trigger point course, it's really cool. Okay, thanks for your time, bye bye.